All right. Hi, welcome. Uh, this is our full moon uh, gathering, Earth Guardian group, uh, meditation group. And then uh, here we got our whole team here today. Uh, on the left side, left upper side, it's uh, Natalia. And the right side, it's Luis. And then uh, on the second bottom one, we have a Linda and also the Jennifer. Um, so uh, today is a full moon. So we're going to turn over to uh, Linda. So she will uh, guide us and facilitate this session for us. OK. OK. Um, what I'd like to do is, first off, I want to ask, um, it's a Wiesak moon, and it's a flower moon. And is this a special time for the opening for all of us? Now, can you hear my drum? Yeah, oh good, okay. Because sometimes I, if I don't push the right button. Okay, let's call forth the power and the presence of all the ascended masters. Melchizedek, Wayne Dyer, all of our ancestors and all of those people being present with us as we go through these transitions. And for Lewis, the healing and the healing for all of us moving forward and really understanding that we are really part of this great awakening as we move forward. And there's no accidents that there's those of us who are on this call. I'm always kind of curious as to who shows up. like he had rocks and I called him after um, and told him because I've worked with him since 2012 and I told him I said you've really got even if it's only going for a walk you know a mile I said I really want you to focus on clearing your body because he had been in a rehab he had been here he'd been there and I, I just saw it so clearly and even for myself that's one of the reasons and uh, Nadia that she goes five miles there's no accident to that because it takes a little while to clear this stuff <laughs> it's not instantaneous right Lewis he's another walker so let's pull the golden light in and wherever it is that you feel the most comfortable your most favorite places um, whether it be here in Mount Shasta or in Sedona or just the place and as we go through our body and starting around our ankles and with each beat of the drum just feel the power and the strength of the golden light and even the bells as my grandmother clock is clearing your body 
deep breath. Go ahead. I'll stop drumming. And then let's go up on your dragon. Come forward. So you can feel your dragon or dragons is already around you, next to you. And greetings from your dragons to you. So Get on your dragons and then you can feel that you're rising, rising up above the uh, Mount Shasta. And looking down, you see this piece of land, this part of the land. So beautiful. Still a lot of places uh, snow covered. And you can feel the joy, joyful energy, peaceful energy from Mount Shasta, as well as from Mother Earth. So now we're going to a Glastonbury Stonehenge area. You're riding on your dragon, it's very protected and safe. So we're fly, flying to the other part of the world. And now we're on above the uh, stone hinge. And slowly, your dragon landed on the inside of the stone hinge. And then you can come off. You can get off from your dragon. And now we make a circle with all the people, all the ascending master, angels, guardian angel, archangels. We're making a huge circle. So we circle the uh, all the huge rocks inside of the circle. So we, we hand hand in hand, holding each other's hand. And then we're making a huge energy together inside of a stone heat, inside of the circle, infusing into this piece of land, this part of land and all the stones it's a rainbow colors. So we see the rainbow colors coming out, going up in front of us within this circle, like a spiral rainbow energy colors spiral up and also spiral down below the, the ground. Spiral up, going out, out of the earth, and then going, connecting the source of the universe. Also, you can see all the other planets that close to us has been helping us like a series, like a seven sister stars, like a palladium,
and swan star. You can see their energy shooting out and then connected to this spiral up rainbow color energy. Merge and support us, help us to make it stronger, connected to the source of the universe. And going down, we go into the central sun inside of Mother Earth. Also this uh, rainbow color energy. So with this uh, powerful rainbow color energy, connecting to the Mother Earth, the center of the Mother Earth, central sun, and uh, going up connected to the source of the universe. And we are there holding hands together, holding the energy, holding the space. In the meantime, we can feel the energy also coming, also going through our bodies. Whatever color of the energy you need, you're receiving it now. Cleansing your body, healing, abundance, communication, leadership, purification, transformation, all the energy, all the different color represent different energy that you need at this moment, you're getting it, you'll be infused all the energy that you need to help you become stronger, become more powerful in a divine way. So you can assist the Mother Earth, support the collective uh, consciousness. So you can do your job better, So I'm seeing this a green dragon is there by our side and also all our dragons and other other dragons. They are outside of us, behind us, supporting us. Now um, we're feeling the feedback from the green dragon, showing the gratitude, helping this piece of land, helping whatever has to be happen, especially on this uh, earth grid that will continuously make it stronger and as well as uh, repair what what is necessary. So slowly you can feel that this session is come coming to an end. So we are back we are back to our body. We regain our consciousness.
So again, we receive the gratitude and appreciation from the green dragon and also from the mother earth. Showing this unconditional love. Showing our determination to support and to help. So now we are back on our dragon. And once you are on, on your dragon, we we'll come we we'll arise slowly into the sky and then going back to Mount Shasta. Above Mount Shasta, we saw the beautiful full moon very purification and the harmony. Take a deep breath, breathing the full moon energy to enhance the energy that we just receive from the stone hinge, from the mother earth, Grand Central Sun from the source of the universe. We feel like we're fully recharged. We feel like we are empowered with a divine love, with a divine strength. Okay, now the dragon take you back to where your body is. So you back to your body and then you thank your dragon. You feel your dragon a little bit with your body, with your face. with your arms, with your hands, holding your dragon or give your dragon a hug. You're exchanging the energy between each other. So you re remember your time with dragon in the past. You re remember your commitment with the Mother Earth, with a collective consciousness. With the universe. So before you go to bed today, tonight, you can ask your dragon come into your dream and continue to work with you together and then establish further assignment or mission that you have to do or you are going to do. to expand your consciousness, to increase your vibration and frequencies. And take another deep breath, you say goodbye to your dragon and fully back to your body. And take another deep breath. When you're ready, 
you can open your eyes. Okay. All right. Yeah, I am unmute everyone. So if you like to talk or share, you have to unmute. No, that was beautiful. Thank you so much. I really felt the dragons and I felt it was really important that you guided us with the dragons. And I also felt the importance of remembering that they're backing us up and what you said about recognizing them in our dream state to move forward with that. I really appreciate that. That's what, like I said last week, I really felt the dragons and before we got on the call, I felt them. So I thought it was an important part for communication and you have this affinity to connect to them. And so I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, that was interesting because uh, uh, I think yesterday I was I just uh, posted my uh, blog that I wrote it back in 12, 2019. And in that blog, I actually talk about the dragon, you know, connecting with the dragon, dragon energy and this and that. So I'm I'm enjoying this uh, integration process I'm working on right now. Uh, it seems very slow, but I know the reason behind because when I try to review those blocks from before, it actually kind of uh, uh, affirming what I did before and it's actually connected to what I'm doing right now. So it's kind of interesting. So uh, I'm, not, I'm not pushing myself to try to like finish it in in two days or three days so i'm just take take my time you know and so that's very good this is also what i learned from this process is we need to slow down all the time we think of that oh we try to get this done we try to get that done but you know the way the energy working right now flowing right now i think even though we feel more stronger energy coming through coming to us, coming to Mother Earth. But I think behind that is actually we have to slow down, you know, so we can fully engage with the flow of this energy and then actually, you know, ride on it and enjoy the, you know, the process. Yeah. So interesting. <laughs> and this is my second drum. I'm... I'm working on it right now. Nice. Uh, Merkaba. It's not finished yet, but uh, I like uh, what I see so far, you know. Yeah. So this is very nice. I like it. So. And I, yeah. li I like the one behind you too. It's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. This is this one. Uh, yeah. I made it on the iPad. It's a digital, digital art too. Yeah. Oh. But, yeah. It's a digital one. Yeah. And then, yeah, my, my website is, uh, I'm working on it. So soon, uh, it will be more content on it. So, you know, and then right now I'm working on the blocks from before. So try to get it over. And then, so that, that will be very nice. Yeah. I know uh, this is a preparation for me to, uh, to go back to Mount Shasta in the near future. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what I want to share today. Anyone else would like to share some? I like, like the attitude of gratitude that came through Linda and you as well. We need that so much and for our bodies to be so grateful. Mm -hmm. And like you said about the knees and stuff, if we love our body, it'll love us back. Gratitude. Yes, thank you. Okay. I unmuted. Okay, I'm unmuted now. Yeah. Such an important thing as we're going through it because we're on our feet. 
And I, like I said, I'm very grateful to be able to do that because there's, you know, a range of people that either physically can't or they get to a point they get too weak, you know, rather than pushing through it and swimming or walking or whatever it is. And um, I'm just really, uh, like I said, and even, you know, our arms, doing things with our arms, you know, whether it be wiping a table down or, you know, serving people food or whatnot, you know, because some people don't have that, that ability. And like I said, I'm very grateful that I, you know, and also the brain and, and our psyche that we just, you know, just did. I mean, and there's no accidents as to who shows up. It's always, it always is amazing to me in any kind of group as to the people who show up fully, you know? It doesn't matter yeah. what it is. You know? Yeah. It's not about, oh, it's not about the number, you know. Yeah. No, no. But, you know, so many people say they want to, you know, they want to meditate or they want to do this. And there's still five of us. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. Yep. Five is a special number. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a Ganesh. Remove obstacle. Right. Yeah. So oh. I was struck when, 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 when we invoked the dragons, the dragon I invoked was a green dragon. Oh. In the very beginning. And as soon as you started talking about the green dragon, I saw the connection of the synchronicity of it. Yeah, look at your background and your shirt. They're both green. <laughs> <laughs> My clothes are green. I wear green. Green yeah. is a color of healing. Yep. So I sleep in green. I, my 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 <clears throat> my sleeping bag is green. My sheets are green. My towel is green. My 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 clothes are green. Yeah, wonderful. Still have some some a few clothes left over from that are not green, but they're going to go away and be replaced by something green. Cool. Yeah. Today we wonderful. rode on the green dragon. Good. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yep. Did everybody see their dragon tonight? I'm curious. Yep. Yeah. I, th I mean, I figured yeah, everybody yeah. would, but. Yes. Yeah. 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 The dragons were speaking before. Like I said, they even kind of came last week. And then when I saw his post about the po podcast that he had done, I thought, okay, they're, they really want to be here to support <laughs> us. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. always a good reminder, you know? Yep. The, not only the star people and the brotherhood and the angels, but just how much support we have as we go through this transition. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so uh, anybody else? If not, we're going to, you know, uh, close the, today's session. I think it's very good. Uh, thank you, everyone, for being here. And then we appreciate that appreciate your support and we will see you next time the new moon yeah. new moon yes, yes. <laughs> okay have bye -bye. a good night everyone yeah okay, enjoy bye -bye. the full moon oh. okay bye, bye thank you so much